Welcome, dear eel lovers. Looks like I've got to stop my very um, intellectual reading to talk to you about something even more mentally, intellectually challenging today. I went to the cinema and I watched uh, this. And yeah, if you I guess you can read it, right? It's Godzilla Kong the New Empire. Now there's like a more insight here. I'm I'm too scared to take it out because now it's still sealed here and uh yeah I haven't really checked it yet and we must be very careful today because of my outfit and uh, yeah because before I started recording this I ate some soup and the soup spilled all over me so I just thought I should wear something so I took the first the next best thing that lay around that was this shirt looks maybe better than a dirty t-shirt but um I was too lazy to put on pants, so if the camera falls down, I guess... Um, sorry, right? Um, anyway, yeah. Godzilla Kong by the uh, great American director Adam, Adam Wingard, I guess is his name. I might be wrong. And... Um, he directed another Godzilla movie that was called Godzilla vs. Kong and I had to realize that I completely forgot the existence of this movie. So, I'm very sorry to say that. Um, anyway, this new movie came out this year and after the big hype of Godzilla Minus One, if you have watched the other movies on this channel, you might know that I'm not a big fan of Minus One, but maybe this, this one might be more my liking. I guess at least it's uh, not very uh, political, I guess, kind of. I'm not sure. Um, yeah, but, but let's, let's talk a little bit about this legendary monster verse franchise um i think 2014 was the first godzilla movie just simply called godzilla and at that time i watched it and a lot of people didn't really like it but i thought it pretty okay like the screen time godzilla has is always a Thing people complain about but compared to other Godzilla movies it's not that different so not so bad I just felt like at that uh, time they killed off the wrong character I guess it's not too much of a spoiler that the movie starts with Brian Cranston who is pretty cool I guess yeah like but Breaking Bad and stuff good 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 I, I think at that time he was still on this Breaking Bad hype and everybody loved him so they put him in this movie as a scientist in the beginning and he just dies and the movie switches to Aaron Taylor Johnson I think still most famous for Kick-Ass and I mean nothing against him personally I just felt like this role of a generic marine wasn't very interesting. I wasn't into that too much, but I feel the movies was pretty pretty solid So at that time I was still curious about more Hollywood um, Godzilla movies so Solid start compared to the 98 by uh, Roland Emmerich Pretty pretty okay. Yeah so followed by um, uh, King of the Monsters, I guess it was called, yes, um, from 2019, from Michael Doherty, I think is pronounced. Um, 
not such a famous uh, director. I don't know. Any, oh, he, he, he did a movie called uh, Krampus. Maybe Krampus, Krampus. I don't know how to pronounce it in English. Um, that I think was quite famous, popular, whatever. I, I didn't watch it. But uh, yeah, he made Godzilla King of the Monsters, which is still fine, I guess. Um, for me, I didn't like the monster design so much, especially like Mothra. I prefer Mothra to be fluffy and cute. And um, yeah, but overall, not not bad. Not bad. Yeah, like the King Ghidorah is always a good choice. And yeah, but like this human plot was... Pretty much uh, a Hundekot, as we say in Germany, and um, yeah, but but still, still, I I felt quite okayish entertained, and that was followed by uh, Godzilla vs Kong, same director as now. Uh, I should throw in in, in between there was the uh, Kong Skull Island, which I don't remember so well. It was. Directed by Jordan Fogt, Fogt Roberts, maybe, I don't know. Um, who seemingly makes a Metal Gear Solid movie now, which is pretty cool. And um, yeah, I think it was a pretty fun movie. I don't like Kong so much. I'm not into monkeys, even though I'm curious about the movie Monkey Man that came out this year. Which seems to be pretty cool but i maybe, maybe there are no monkeys so probably and i might enjoy that but yeah i, I thought like skull island had a pretty cool cast uh like tom hiddleston samuel jackson john goodman brie larson a uh, good good people and this a little bit um apocalypse now feeling and so oh, this was fine was fine not so bad and yeah uh, that was 2017 and 2021, a Godzilla vs. Kong, which everybody knew uh, wouldn't end uh, in a specific um, way. Or what, what, what am I talking about? Um, wouldn't end like they actually fight as enemies. Same as Batman v Superman. Everybody knew they will fight for a bit and at some point... They will work together to fight a, a bigger evil, and that happened here as well. It had a had a very annoying human cast. I think this was a movie where um, this conspiracy theorist podcaster showed up, and uh, which I think is a pretty pretty annoying and not so great thing to do because basically i mean i mean it's it's the same it has been the same forever when they say like there's a, a person who seems crazy uh because they believe in i don't know magic or fantastic creatures or whatever but in the end it turns out that they are right and they get uh, a lot of praise and who I, I was right all along and that's a trope that has been around forever but now if you put this in this uh, role of a conspiracy theorist podcast I'm oh there are too too many around to um talk like really really awful stuff especially like the right wing direction I, I don't think you should legitimize these people by saying, hey, here's one that's actually right, and uh, maybe these crazy people might... Uh, just in this context of fake news and false information and all this stuff, um, I felt a little uncomfortable with this character. But anyway, the movie still kind of entertains me I guess I completely forgot that it existed because when I watched the new one I checked what movies Adam Wingard made before like I wanted to say oh, did, did he ever make a good movie I remembered a death note which I didn't really like and uh, then I thought oh he made the guess that got quite good reviews as far as I remember so I thought oh my god he made Godzilla vs Kong uh -huh. and yeah, I completely forgot that this movie even existed. 
I couldn't remember watching it at all. And now I remember there was um was it Shun Oguri? Yeah, Shun Oguri uh as a villain and there was Mecha Godzilla. Uh, having Mecha Godzilla is always a pretty cool idea, even though I didn't really enjoy the design. Anyway, so now a few years later, 2024, we finally arrived at uh, this new one, Godzilla Kong, the X Silent, as in Hunter Hunter, which is not called Hunter X Hunter, um, as the new empire here. Um, well, a lot of people were a bit uh, skeptical, especially because of the pink Godzilla, which is perfectly fine explained, and who cares what color he is glowing in. Um, for, for me personally, I have a very very awful pet peeve something that really drives me crazy that's the good old teal and orange i really really hate teal and orange it's so bad sometimes i don't watch a movie like the last um, Wes Anders movie asteroid city i knew i will probably like it because i like Wes Anderson but if i go into the cinema i pay money i watch this movie i will be so distracted and annoyed by the colors that I will not enjoy the movie and that wasn't worth it. And if I see, hey, there's some nice pink glow, I'm all for it. And yeah, I felt like the uh, body shape was a bit funny, I guess, because everybody made fun of the little bit chubbier Godzillas before they gave him a diet and a nice little fitment, a fitness program. Same, same as me, same as me. Right now, people are telling me that I lost a weight. Well, usually, people uh, never notice that. Um, but uh, yeah, so I, I don't mind that so much. It still looks okay. Not my favorite Godzilla design, but no, not bad. No, no reason to complain about this movie. So. So far, everything totally fine, and um, I, I watched the trailer before. I was a bit skeptical, but uh, let's say it like this. Uh, all my fears uh, came true. Um, the thing is, let's start at the start of the movie. Um, the movie starts very... Hollywood like with this big monkey in the hollow earth. The hollow earth is another thing that I don't really like. Uh, why hollow earth? I mean, it's some kind of explanation why these huge creatures were able to hide while we, uh, yeah, we basically checked the whole planet. But um, yeah, I, hollow earth. Oh, At least there are no Nazis in there. That would be. Like, you know, Neuschwabenland, you know, like in the South Pole, there's the, as we all know, as you should know, um, there's the entrance to the Hollow Earth, and the Nazis went in there and are hiding. Uh, Hitler is probably still, in, no, 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 don't, don't believe me, don't believe the propaganda, don't believe the conspiracy theory. Anyway, this one has a Hollow Earth with monkeys and creatures and stuff, uh, so far so good, and in there... We hear a nice little pop song and we enjoy a day in the life of this big monkey Kong. And um, yeah, he's doing his stuff like you do and he has a little toothache and all this, this is awful. It's really awful. Like it's, it's such um, annoying Hollywood stereotype trope whatever that i i can't take this anymore anyway he ends up at the human headquarter gets the artificial tooth implant and stuff and yeah that's um, foreshadowing for stuff that will come later that we always saw in the trailer because uh, kong has a big transformer arm every time i saw this trailer and see this arm comes out of the desert i felt like, oh this is a transformers movie no it was not a transformers movie it's a kong movie anyway the start already put me in a really really foul mood because that's so lame and so ugh. and uh, i really hate that so sorry 
that we ended up having another um, not very positive episode. Um, yeah, really awful stuff. And the whole plot is just hilariously stupid. Um, I, I can imagine the, the people in the writer's room, I imagine Adam Wingard himself having this, what do they call it, an epiphany? Yeah? Where he's like, oh my god, all the people complain about the human storylines in these movies. Yeah? And how can we pull it off to just focus on the monsters more? How can we make a more monster movie? And <clears throat> I mean, I always feel like we need some human plot just to connect everything to uh, things we know and understand and we can uh, have a better emotional connection. Of course, the plot should be good, preferably, but overall, um, some people say that they would prefer just a movie like two hours monsters fighting and I think that would get really, really boring very soon. I think that's a very niche special interest audience, even though everybody loves a good monster fight. I, I don't think that's a good idea. So I always hope for a good human plot because that just makes everything better. Yeah, because what's the point of having monsters destroying cities or other places if there is no threat for anyone. I mean, it's not like they're killing each other. So it's just like who wins, who goes home um, and cries and stuff. So I don't think if, if you take out the humans, there's much of a... Um, yeah, there's not much thrill, there's not much tension. It's just a pretty lame overall. And uh, you would need some very special filmmakers to pull that off in a, in a believable, good, entertaining way. So qu quite a challenge. I, I don't believe that uh, most directors could do that in a good way. Anyway, uh, here the, I, I, I imagine... Adam Wingard running around the writer's room. Being, oh, I've got the idea. I've got the best idea ever. You know, you know, we've got this giant monkey. And if we just have more monkeys, it's basically a human plot. Because, you know, humans and monkeys are almost the same. But because they're giant and furry... It's a monster story. It's not a human story. It's not a human plot. It's a monster plot. Even though it's the same. Yeah. I, I'm, I'm sure someone had this idea and felt really, really smart. And as it turns out, if you, if you would have done that right, I'm sure it could have been good. But the problem is that probably someone in the studio said, um, nice idea, but people will complain that they don't understand the monkey plot because monkeys don't talk. So the monkey plot is already really, really simple, silly and stupid and you would be able to follow it without any trouble. But this is a, I don't know how many million dollars, 100 million dollars, 200, I don't know, a huge amount of money that this movie cost. And I guess someone in the studio, some producer said, uh, if we make a monkey plot where nobody talks, people will complain that there's no talking and they don't understand the plot. So we still need a human plot where we now get this uh, conspiracy theorist back, we get an awful hippie doctor and all, uh, all terrible human characters. And, and these terrible human characters just walk around and um, basically explain the monkey plot. There's a girl that looks very, very problematic because uh, Native American stereotypes and stuff and not not so great a choice of um, costumes. Um, 
that didn't ruin the movie, but it didn't make it better. Um, yeah, anyway, this whole human plot is, is insanely stupid and just there to explain the even stupider monkey plot and this whole thing of like basically three levels in the earth, like top level Godzilla protects everything, uh, Hollow Earth, uh, Kong and one level deeper underground are now evil monkeys and of course there's a little comedy monkey that becomes a Kong sidekick because you always need a sidekick in every good uh, fantasy. So it, basically it, it could be like a Conan movie or something like that or so, some kind of barbarian movie. Imagine that, this kind of plot. You don't need any explanation. It's, those are movies that you can watch without sound. It's not as fun, it's not as good, but you would still be able to follow the story. And that's the same here. And it just... as uh, saugt uh, Popo. Let's say it like that. Um, yeah, it's just, just awful, awful stuff. And it just gets more awful stuff. And uh, yeah, like, like I said, this is idea of those levels where basically uh, Kong needs to go to the surface to make Godzilla angry so he follows him into the hollow earth to fight these other monkeys who accidentally have this ice spitting lizard with the uh, uh, monster design was really boring everybody uh, was so excited about this uh, back suplex which wasn't even presented in a way that I got really hyped it's just there to have a wrestling move in a monster movie so people can be oh my god did you see how this wrestling move and this monster movie worked uh, just from start to finish there was not a single scene that where well, i felt like i'm entertained uh, this is one of those movies where people say just turn your brain off and it will be fun but even in a stupid way it's not fun because it's already really stupid and then you get a even more stupid explanation for the stupidity and nothing is good nothing is fun uh, it's just uh, a huge pile of uh, Hundekacke. Yeah. Sorry. I wish, I wish there were uh, good new Godzilla movies. And let's be honest, this movie is much, much worse than Minus One because it's just insanely boring. Minus One at least had some really cool scenes. Yeah, whenever Godzilla shows up, I'm entertained. And, and at least, at least, even though it didn't do that in a nice way, but made me think about it, it keeps following me around like a, uh, like hungry kitten or something. Yeah, and that's good, that's good. Like, if, if I have to think about something, at least there's anything I, I care about. Yeah, and this is just a garbage. It's not even trash in the sense of hey, it's it's so stupid, it's fun. No, it's just just why does this even exist? Who needs this? I don't. I can't imagine anyone really enjoying this movie. I mean, the the average rating on Letterbox is a two point. Eight, that's not good, but still much better than I expected. And I just, just, why, why, why does this exist? Uh, it just made me hope that uh, there will be no more Hollywood Godzilla movies for a really, really long time. And it just, ugh. yeah, that's it for today. Be back soon, I hope. Uh, last time it took a little longer, but I guess uh, no, nobody, still, still now, nobody is watching or very few people are watching. 
So I guess nobody missed me. <laughs> Good. Uh, thank you very much for watching or listening to my rambling. And uh, have a nice day. See you soon. And uh, bye.